Yo, 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 shout out to my boys over here. Yeah. Big fan, yo. Oh. All right, so I got my boy over here. He wants to plug up his shop. What's good? Yo, what's up, guys? Everyone go check out The Soul Market at The Soul Market on Instagram. We're out in Brick, New Jersey. We specialize in Yeezy, Supreme, all that. Come check us out, man. Thank you, guys. Yeah, go check him out. He has good prices, NYC, too. Man. I'm going to watch this and be like, All right, oh, yeah. so I'm here shopping at round two, and then I got my boys over here. Come and say oh, what's yeah. up. Yo, what's your yeah. name, bro? What's yeah. up? Just had to splurge a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you cop? Show what'd you cop. The boy said money. The boy said he got money. Ooh. The CDG Blazers? For 80. Top threes. <laughs> top threes. Yeah, top know, you guys know this is my favorite. Yeah, right. Favorite yeah, ones. Right. What about you, bro? Shit, you go man. You know, you hey, man, I copped the round two T yeah, in the Vampirilla. Okay. Yeah, yeah, man, you know. Yeah, Shout yeah. out Wilmington, North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the mic was out. Now I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 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 what's good? I'm Welcome back to our sneakers. We'll be a little video every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today, I will be reviewing for you guys these Fear God shorts. But before I get into it, I do have one announcement I want to make, and it is that I will be giving away a Yeezy mask at the end of this month. But the best part about it is that it's not a specific Yeezy mask. It's one of the three that I'm going to be showing you guys right now. You get to either choose between the bread colorway, the cream white colorway, or the beluga colorway. So at the end of this month, when the giveaway ends, you do have the chance to choose one of those three. And the way you can enter is you go down in the description, click on the link down below, and follow the instructions. In order to enter, all you have to do is three simple things. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, add me on both of my Instagrams, and take a screenshot of my YouTube channel, this YouTube channel right here, my homepage, and shout me out on your Instagram, telling people to go follow me. You will also see the instructions when you click on the link down below. I know you guys have been asking for a giveaway and I thought it's about time. It's a good way to start off 2018. And on top of that, I feel like you guys deserve it. And that's why I'm only doing it to the end of this month. So the people that are already on this channel, like the people up to this point, have the time like to watch my video, this video hopefully, and I will be announcing it every single day this month or every single time that I upload this month. And they have the time to watch the video and also join the giveaway. Anyways, that's enough talking. Let's get on the review with these shorts. I did wear these out last night, so you will see some dirty spots on them. Like right here is where my phone is. I was boiling, so I think the ball hit my shorts and it got it dirty. White was not a good choice to go with as far as shorts go, but I've been wanting them since I saw them released on the Paxton website. But anyways, moving on to the actual review of the shorts. My first opinion when I first heard of these was that the price point was pretty good for a pair of Fear God shorts. But the reason for that being, I think, is because this is the one that came from Paxton and they were only $80. Most Fear God shorts you'll see go up hundreds of dollars and and this is not that pair. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna change the quality, even though they only released it in packs and stores. So here you guys can see it is the Fear of God shorts. Of course, it says Fog, that stands for Fear of God, and then it says Essentials. Why it says Essentials, I don't know. I just started getting into this brand, and here it says Essentials again with my size small. These shorts do run a little bit big, but that's how the clothing is for Fear of God. Like their shirts ran really big, they ran really long. That's just a style that Jerry Lorenzo uses for his clothing, and I think the hoodies were pretty baggy as well. And if you guys don't know who Jerry Lorenzo is, he is a person behind Fear of God. Up on the waist you do have like this nice elastic which does stretch and goes back to place it would be a cheap product if it just stretched and it didn't go back but this is a good elastic right here and then you do have your drawstrings to tighten the shorts which are really really long like they go past the knee that's just a style like i said it's a baggy style with pure god and i guess they wanted to make the drawstrings pretty long as well these are weird because when you go to tighten it you have to actually just like make a loop and tighten it because if you just throw a knot on there it gets stuck and then it's kind of hard to take out so i usually what i do is just like pretty much like tying your shoes but you do it on your waist you go ahead and make your loops and tie it as far as the pockets go they are zippered pockets and they do go pretty deep actually look at the card here from the bowling place yesterday but as i was saying the pockets do go pretty deep it's like deep enough to where you can put your hand in there and get your phone it's not too deep to the point where like you can't like reach your phone like it's all the way at your knee this is how big the pocket is it's a good size you can put a good amount of things in there and that's one thing i wanted to mention because i know a lot of shorts they don't have pockets that are deep enough and that bothers me personally i don't know about you guys but i hate when pockets aren't deep enough like my phone is like sticking out the zipper pockets are on both sides it's not like the nike shorts that have like the long pocket here and then the other one's like short they're both the same size and unfortunately you don't have any back pockets it kind of annoys me because i don't have a place to put my wallet but lately i haven't even been using my back pockets anymore i have been using my i guess my i'm gonna call it side back other people want to call it fanny packs it's been a popular thing lately especially when people use the gucci bags i use the kith crossbody bag that i bought when i was up in new york I love it a lot. It's more simple. It's really quick just to turn it around, get something, and then throw it back behind my back again. I think it's stylish, and you also 
have more space to put things that you need like your phone your wallet or like whenever you're gonna do like activity you can put your jewelry and stuff in there as well i personally like that a lot more than just not having one so lately i've been using that pretty much everywhere and other than that that's pretty much all there is to the shorts the shorts really don't have that long of legs like they made them shorter because they put this little like hoop right not hoop but i guess this little arc right here so they connected the two sides i don't mind it i like it a lot it gives like a little bit of more of a baggier look and i've been wearing that style a lot more lately so i really don't mind as far as quality goes on these shorts they are nice and thick but i would not say they're as thick as the babe shorts babe shorts are way thicker they do have that heavier feel to them they have more quality they don't have zippers like this they just have regular pockets and i think the babe ones even do have a back pocket on them which i do personally like and that's pretty much it for the shorts i am satisfied with this purchase they don't look as nice as i thought they would when i put it on and i rock them anyways like i rock them when i can i wish i could have bought the ones that they dropped on a pop-up shop over the summer it was like a florida marlins collab or whatever i don't know what it was it was like a old vintage baseball collab it was really dope they had like floral shorts but i think those were going for like 500 or a thousand dollars and they were reselling for like two thousand or a thousand i don't know what the prices were but they were really high and they also had like a long shirt it had like an f on it it was just super nice i wish i could pull up the pictures i don't even know how to find them anymore now that i'm able to buy clothes like that i'm going to start buying more like different brands not just stick to like one brand because i do want to expand my clothing i do actually need to get my clothing up a lot more i'm so stuck on just sneakers i've been stuck on that for the past few years that i feel like i need to expand and get my clothing like i only have shoes right now and i don't have the best clothes so i feel like that kind of contradicts itself that's why i've been buying like more supreme i've been reselling supreme too low key so i'm gonna start just buying a lot of that stuff and having more content for you guys and doing reviews because i know like sometimes the people are scared to buy some type of clothing because they don't know how it is because some of the clothing is just online like supreme clothing you can't just go ahead and try that on you have to hear from somebody how it fits and stuff like that so that's the type of content i want to get out for you guys as well i know those videos aren't bangers but i know those videos do help some of you guys anyways guys that wraps up today's video i did promise you guys that i will be doing a fan of the day every single day every single video that i upload actually not every single day and today's fan of the day does go to kevin reyes if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to give the video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends share this channel with your friends as a matter of fact you guys might as well just join the giveaway because the things i tell you to do at the end of the videos is pretty much what you have to do to enter the giveaway oh and i forgot to mention if you guys want to be fan of the day all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel turn your notifications on and be one of the first people to comment and be one of the first people to comment on my latest video i know i did ask you guys if you guys wanted shorter videos or longer videos and most of you said longer videos so what i'm gonna try to do is try to keep the videos at 10 minutes exactly because 10 minutes is not really that long but anything longer than that i feel like it is too long and on top of that a lot of you guys said that you guys want to hear me speak a little bit more and you guys want to know more of my in-depth opinions so that's exactly what i'm going to do for you guys anyways that's it for today make sure you keep going it's your boy